eat what you love and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, and welcome to today's amazing turkey roll with Pachi's secret ingredients. We are going to make a super easy, amazing turkey roll from the beginning to the end. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to defrost it. Then remove the turkey from its wrapping and from that elastic band. Keep that elastic band as we might use it in a minute. So we're going to use one ice cube of basil, two ice cubes of green onion, and two tablespoons of garlic flattened and frozen. That way we have all our seasonings ready. tablespoons of grainy Dijon mustard and four tablespoons of yogurt that is not free but the regular thinner yogurt. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of cilantro. We're going to cut it and mix everything. We have all our seasonings ready. Last but not least, we're going to add a teaspoon of za'atar. The za'atar tastes like lime when it's fresh. So put a little bit on your tongue and try it. And if it tastes amazing, it's great. Now we're going to cut our turkey breast in half so that we can roll it. Sometimes it comes in two or three pieces like this. Sometimes it comes in four pieces. So that's why we're keeping the rest of that elastic band in case it came in many pieces and we have to roll it and put it together. Now we season the inside with salt and pepper and our delicious seasoning mixture. We add the bigger part in the center that was cut and then we add the tiny tiny piece in the middle because otherwise it's probably going to fall out. Now we add the rest of the seasoning on top of the other parts that we've added to the turkey breast. Check out what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you basically how we're going to roll. That's it. We're going to center both ends and look, it becomes a roll immediately. Super simple. Now there's two ways we can do it. We can tie it with twine, like I'm going to do it, or you can have somebody help you and put that elastic band into it again. I'm going to show you how to do both. All you have to do is four wraps with twine, tie them in the center, and then one length wraps. That's it. It doesn't have to be anything beautiful or complicated. Just put it together because it's going to be beautifully and come out like a roll. Then you add the rest of the seasoning all over the turkey breast, in the bottom, in the top, all over because it's going to season it deliciously. Now we're going to add that elastic band. And check it out, it's not all that bad. It's much easier if somebody can hold the end so you can just pull. All you have to do is this, get all of that turkey inside and try to get most of the skin on the outside because that's the part that's going to protect it the most. Then we refrigerate it for two hours or overnight. And then we add all of the seasoning juices that came out of the turkey. I'm cutting that elastic band simply because I don't want so many things to take out when my turkey breast is ready. Remember, I had the twine in the bottom. Those herbs that were there back on top of my breast and put it on the rack over the baking pan. You see, there's only a little bit of drippings. There's going to be a little more after it bakes because we're going to make it in a special baking time. We preheat the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the turkey inside, close the oven, and reduce it to 225. Then, hour and a half afterwards, remove it from the oven and cover it with foil. 
set it aside while you make the sauce. Take all the drippings from the pan, put them in a little cup, add one quarter cup of Greek yogurt and one tablespoon of almond milk. And this is gonna soften up the yogurt and we're gonna add it to the drippings to make an amazing sauce. Your yogurt should not be cold so that the sauce stays warm. Pass it through a sieve and voila! We have an amazing, delicious, and soft and shiny sauce to put on top of our delicious turkey breast. So enjoy it, prepare it. This is gonna be the best. You're gonna make it so many times. I'd love to hear about it. Chef Pachi. Scroll down for the recipe. You can print it. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.